is your starting sevens for Zimbabwe under Lloyd Mukunde. Pamela Cookie alongside me, former England attacking prowess. And they've got that in Jani, and they've got it on the bench in Takeda too. They have indeed, and their accuracy levels has been so high, which is what impressed me. Ndrublo at goal attack, she is nippy, she's sharp, and she feeds Jani really well. Sai Chema at wing attack, Tamsin was saying one of her favourites there in that wing attack position. Muladi at centre, Kwarambo at wing defence, Kwango at goal D, and Kurume, five foot two-ish, still doing her thing at goalkeeper. Does that make me six foot four-ish? <laughs> as for Barbados under Sandra Bruce Small, as your Bruce, watch out for her. She loves a tip, loves an intercept, and Wharton up front. How much we've spoken about her in that goal shooter position. She will sink them from anywhere in that circle, and she'll bring the flair to this Barbados team on court. Zimbabwe, VB, Viva Beiros. Zimbabwe goal shooter, Bailina Jani. Barbados goalkeeper, Jeanette Azor Bruce. Zimbabwe goal attack, Ursula Ungovu. Barbados, goal defence, Rian Niles Map. Zimbabwe, wing attack, the base Yatitema. Barbados, wing defence, Shante Seal. Zimbabwe, centre, Patricia Malani. Barbados centre, Amanda Knight. Zimbabwe, wing defence, Clarice Paramba. Barbados, wing attack, Samantha Brown. Zimbabwe, goal defence, Felicitas Kowangwa. Barbados goal attack, Shaniqua Thomas. Zimbabwe goalkeeper, Rudu Karume. Barbados goal shooter, Shanika Wharton. Zimbabwe coach, Lloyd Makunde. And the Barbados coach, Sandra Bruce Small. Zimbabwe Please, well, up against yeah, Barbados. Make no mistake, the this the one board. matters. With Malawi coming up next for Zimbabwe, Northern Ireland up next for it's Barbados. Both these teams want to push into that top eight, want to prove themselves on the world stage. So a win here tonight would go a long way to making sure they can go higher and higher in world medals. Barbados with ball in hand with the first centre pass. Pamela Cookie, we're used to them coming out all firing, and with that land, that's what we'll see. Yeah, indeed. Quick out the blocks, under the post, and Wharton doesn't fail to deliver on that first shot. Expect this one to two and fro. Zimbabwe themselves early on have gone off like rockets and definitely determined to show that they can beat this side. Yeah, this is a game that they would have been targeting to come out with a win on. Ah, look at the setup from Wharton. You've been in and around that, that circle. She is a, a real target, but they've got other options in there. They do as well, and Thomas running at goal attack, she offers something different, and when Wharton's coming forward for the ball, you've got Thomas sweeping the back, so the feeders on the edge have two options. But we saw the agility of Wharton just there, how she did that little shuffle Hold shot on. and went to post. Oh, first intercept. She did kind of just make that one a little bit easy. Oh, but there was no ease about that. No, and that's what we see from Thomas, how she just ran that baseline 
made herself free, had offloaded her goal defence outside of the circle. Look at this pace. Goal defence, nowhere to be seen. Looking over one shoulder, the other shoulder. Where's she gone? <laughs> Up she pops. Exactly. Kind of distraction, wing defence. Just getting drawn out of that circle. Yeah. And Kwanga, who, we know, who is playing goal defence, we normally see so tight on, able to come out with those intercepts. Thomas is getting the better of her in these first few minutes. Kwanga has been brilliant in this tournament so far, leading those intercept stats. Contact. Inside. Yeah, yes. almost up there with Bruce from Australia. Inside. One step in. Not an easy thing to do, particularly with the height that they're up against in that circle. Yeah, definitely. And to have that composure and control once you do step forward and then be able to offload that pass is a real skill. She's got her eye in. Indeed. Anywhere in that circle, she just turns to that post and shoots it up. Just having to think about around that outside. circle and the feeds in. Yeah. And that's where that height is having a, a little bit of a play. Yeah. And Vovu not confident to go over the top. But when she does get the ball in those positions, she's happy to just offload it to Jani. And Jani isn't missing. Yeah, we talked about the, the strength to Kedza. But in Jani, again, they've got someone that can move and make things happen in that circle. That is what we know Kwanga can do. Yeah, just and they'll, they'll work that out quickly, but it's the wrong sort of feed into the circle because she will eat those ones up. Yes, definitely. And that's what good teams do. They adapt to what happens in front of them and change oh. it up. Difficult to adapt to that. <laughs> Little turn round, the dance on court. around and you can't afford to give Danny that sort of space in the circle. No, and so to Tema, great vision there and timing to be able to see Jani under the post all on her own. Good quick transition up the other end. We'll see more of the defensive effort come in, but it's a shooting masterclass at the moment. I'm loving this. One shoot to another, high five you all. No bottom taps. That's what you I shoot use, as yeah. a favour. I do love a bottom tap too. So how do they? It's kind of we need a bit more defence mm. through court for both these teams at the moment. Definitely. Oh, like that. Like that, indeed. She heard Exhibit you. A. She wanted to prove you that they can do it as well. But that's it. The ball is going down into those. Shooting ends quite quickly. So, yeah, you want your defence now just to hold this up. As or Bruce offering the game. Good movement. Nice. Zimbabwe are doing this kind of diamond defence in that middle of the third, and it works out for them. Now what can they do? Warumba with it. And just having a look around. The patient approach from Zimbabwe, which has been effective throughout the tournament. Throwing Zimbabwe. Yeah. Until that point. <laughs> yeah. Just a little bit too quick off that feed. Straight up. Burnage offside, Sinta. The post got a batter in there. Obstruction. Doesn't let that put her off, though. No, at all. She squeezed herself through that tiny little gap. <laughs> so the... Zimbabwe, the rest of the team and the coaching staff walking into the arena earlier. Again, just getting in early just to capture some of the, the netball on before them. Yeah. 
and that's one of the great things about this. Some of these nations don't get to see all these teams play. Oh, wow. You did love that. I did love that. That was out of the pan cookie copybook, wasn't it? <laughs> that was some great footwork, as we see here. Faked it out, step in, wait for the jump, put the shot up. Loved it. Now just hearing the fans singing inside the arena. 7-7. Seven, seven. We knew this one would be nip and tuck, didn't we? We thought there'd be a, barely a bit between them and already proving. So tight. Contact. And Jani is loving that step in, isn't she? She's looking confident. She's, She's not the only one. <laughs> This little passage, the Zimbabwe defense. defensive pressure has stepped defense. up, hasn't it? With the goal defence, next to her. And we saw that, and they came out flying against New Zealand. Before New Zealand worked them out a little, and Northern Ireland, a brilliant 51-49 win over them. What a tight contest that was. Just a reminder, this one absolutely matters with Malawi a target for Zimbabwe their final game in this group before we head into the standings and who finishes where and Zimbabwe targeting the top eight finish they want to come away from Liverpool with eight or above they have to get past the threat though of Walton and Barbados first Maladia and Seya Chitima really making things work for Zimbabwe in that mid-court. And that's what's great to see how they're not afraid to just keep playing that ball around, waiting for the opportunity to open, but not just playing it around for willy nilly's sake. They're doing it with a will. Good pressure on that circle edge. They faked them into it. Yeah. Zimbabwe are above Barbados, uh, are below Barbados in the world rankings, but hoping to finish above them. A pass like that's going to do it. Lovely. The fake cross court. And again to Jani. She is a great target for them in that goal shooter position. What vision there from Muladi. Nothing phases her either. No. As all Bruce and Niles map in there. Both have got height, both have got agility. You might see Blackman come in there too. She's someone that can perhaps sharpen up that defensive end for Barbados. Yeah, Blackman plays in the shooting end, the defense end, center court as well. She comes up here and commentates. She <laughs> can do anything, Any coach. <laughs> but yeah, they'll look to inject her into whatever area they think needs that little bit of more experience, playing her fifth World Cup. Yeah, and she's got Experience in bucket loads. Uncharacteristic. Seen such great shooting. Everyone was sat at 100% before that. Yeah, Jani, 11 from 11. Oh, <laughs> and almost a perfect feed, but that's the threat that they have defensively in that circle. Yes. Niles Matt with the the reading, the interception. And then the pass, it's this fluid netball from Barbados where they do so well. Give it into the safe hands of Wharton. And within just a couple of blinks of the eye, they sink another. Yeah, look at this intercept here. Great track back from Kawanga. Sink her contact. Step in again. And what she does really well, even though she's stepping in, she's still under control, and her shooting action is straight up. So it means even though the defenders are right by at her, they're within the three foot, as you see, because she stepped in, she can still score those goals. Up and over. Oh, nearly the same the other end. 
Yeah, Wharton thinking a defender would get a hand to it and it would be their back line, but straight off. Zimbabwe feeling the rhythm of the crowd behind them and just keep ticking. Yeah, really pushing this one forward and they're using that skill to just off-foot the defence. They're not forcing the ball into the circle, they're waiting for them to make a move and then playing it into the free space. So just over three minutes of this first quarter remaining, 14-9. Zimbabwe lead. Again, from Jani, just great upper body strength. That's exactly it. So much strength in that hold. So no matter where they put that ball, she's able to bring it in and pull it down. Great line up the other end, but there's another intercept, and that will get the crap. Do they need to get on their feet? They they'll get on step ladders, <laughs> they'll get on top of the roof. They've got Jani shooting 13 from 13. They've got Kurame down in the back getting those kind of intercepts. What more do they need? Another one of those will help. <laughs> Look at this intercept here. Great work. Diamond obstruction wing attack. Obstruction. Taken. They're just too quick, aren't they? What they're doing really well is those. They're making it look simple. It's all the running that's being done off the ball at the moment. But they are just carving Barbados apart. Yes, indeed. Guam again. Just trying to force things. Yeah. Talk, but it's the pressure that the Zimbabwe defence are putting on them. They're making it really difficult to see where the space is. And then Barbados, as you say, are forcing that ball into the circle. Ah, just over cooks this one. Brown will get another go. She, she's been another of those players that's that's looked good for Barbados, who they need now. It's Knight with the pass on the ball. Wharton trying to just roll away around, and again, just that defensive ball in front of her. Yeah, so quick off the mark. From, uh, cool. Just seeing that from up here, we're on a, a great vantage point right over the top of the court, but they'll be watching with Barbados what's happening from the bench and just trying to work out those clearer routes through. Mm. They have to be more clinical with their possession. We've seen a couple of balls now just fly off the back line. Really there. Oh, but they're, they're playing it on the fingertips, aren't they? They're, they're playing on the full stretch. Right on the edge of their living life. But as all Bruce there, because of the pressure she put on that first ball, yes, she didn't get the intercept, but she made Zimbabwe have to think differently and then they forced that back pass. And the caution against the wing defence, against Kwaramba. We actually haven't heard that much pinging in this first quarter, have we? No, and it's been good. The umpires have let this game flow. Better feeding position right on the edge of the circle. Wharton holding nicely into that back space. If you can get the ball into Wharton, you know that she's going to, more often than not, put the shot up for you and make it happen. But it's just sometimes those feeds, those passes going awry for Barbados. That's pretty much been the story of this first quarter with that final pass in from the back. The clock counts down. Zimbabwe have come out and been their electric best. The sixth goal gap at quarter time then. The 17-11 lead over Barbados. So as we're about to restart with a centre pass, Zimbabwe 17-11. And Barbados will have looked at that first quarter. Pamela, and, and which areas will they look to improve on? It's definitely in that attacking end, how they're bringing the ball through and feeding the circle. They also obviously need to get some turnover to be able to give them more opportunity. But I think if they can just settle themselves in that attack end, just be patient with the ball, then they'll be more successful. We know Barbados have the skills and they have the little fingertips in. However you disrupt it, just breaking that rhythm important. Yeah, definitely. 
just loses that rhythm. And as shooters, we all, well, I always used to talk about having the rhythm and the flow in my play. So when the defenders kind of get into that, it does disrupt you. I love how you showed me that. <laughs> you were doing the DJ move as the knees were still going. Pamela <laughs> Cookie, former center. England attacker, still got it. Barbados well, equally so. Mm -hmm. Just confirmation of those changes. Crony coming in at that wing attack position, but that was Thomas clinical again. I think Crony just brings that little bit more experience into this Barbadian attack. So we'll come in to help them. Johnny had a little look round, periscope up. Just unable to stick that one. Just those connections and attack not working for them at the moment. And the flip side of that is Zimbabwe have been liquid in their transition. Yeah. It looks so smooth, doesn't it, as it comes down the court. And it's, as I said, it's all the work that they do off the ball that makes such a difference. It's not ball lands and then people start to get free. They've already offered to their defender so that as soon as their teammate is ready to pass oh. the ball. What was that amazing intercept? I don't know whether she thought it was kind of double, double bluff, wasn't it? <laughs> is it going to go low? Is it going to go oh, high? I'm going to gobble center. that one up. Now what can they do? There's Crony again, just trying to push him forward. Do your bet against Wharton, of course no, you don't. Definitely you don't. Look at her, her eye is definitely in, 100%. But look at this intercept here, straight up in the air for Missouri Bruce, who's moved to goalkeeper. Good little call on the edge of the circle. And that was a better feed in. Crony again going back to seal and just, who wants to hold on to it? The hot potato takes out a player on the same time. Ah, oh, it's a shame. It's great agility just to try and stick on the line. Amazing, and they win this ball here. Look at this defensive pressure right on that third line. Hot potato for a little bit but they keep control of it. Oh, until that moment again. Just got a little bit scrappy this start to the second quarter, but will that benefit Burnage Barbados? Contact centre, Burnage obstruction. Burnage obstruction wing defence. This to draw them level on this quarter score. Three goals apiece at the start of this second quarter. Burnage breaking wing attack. Good pressure put on the feed then. That was close to a three. Yeah, nice. And it was good from Thomas again, how she runs that back space. <laughs> Sorry, and Lovu to bring the pressure off Jani so that she can then take the ball in for the shot. Talk about the real quality that they have, and they do have that, that quality, but with Lovu in there too, she's just taking some of that pressure off. Yeah, indeed and also sitting on 100% three from three, so... That'll do. Barbadian defence can't afford to sit off either one of them. Contact, wing defence outside. Contact. <laughs> yeah, good pressure there on that edge of the circle. If you didn't see the contact, <laughs> we'll just show you. See you know. Columba there, getting in the mix. Opting to go back, just saw a little Burnage calm down motion. Take that patient approach again. Yes, phenomenal reading of the game again. You could feel it coming. You could, you could feel it you. coming. You saw where she was positioned just on the top of the circle. Burnage you could see contact. her eyeing it up. I did think that one was going into the omnibus. That was so long holding onto that ball. Watch this view here. Great angle we can see that, how she comes out Burnage and the timing she had on there. When you're at that defence end, you've just got to throw it away and think, all that turnover, all that work that we did, now back at it. Yeah. It's difficult, isn't it? You've worked so hard to get possession and then you want to see the fruits of that by a goal being scored, but you have to just keep going, get yourself up and do it again. 
Maladi combining with Sia Chechema. And then again, the familiar hand-eye coordination of Jani. It's ridiculous stats from her. So now 19 from 19. You've been in those particular sandwiches. That's not easy when you've got both flying at you there. Not at all. And for a wing attack to put that ball in still and for her to take it, that's amazing. It shows great strength and great composure. Oh, just that one couldn't stand. Mm -hmm. And here comes Zimbabwe again. Great through court, through court pressure again. Mm. Rambo on that wing defence for Zimbabwe has been great on that centre oh, pass line. Looks like a little bit of is that cramp. It's just having she's just gone down off court after that. So much netball we were hearing from the Aussie Diamonds earlier about just five games back to back to back and what toll that was taking on their bodies. Sia Chichimo is such a talismanic figure for this Zimbabwe team. Yeah, she is indeed. Your wing needs to be subbed. Your wing needs to be subbed. But she called time when she went down, so that's why they're saying she has to be subbed off. The only other way, of course, is if there's blood and then the umpire makes the decision. Ooh. But the minute that she calls it, is her arm, or is it her, her knee? Um, I think she was, oh, no, she was holding her ankle. Yeah. Good job, you know your parts of the body. <laughs> I was holding my ankle, yeah. pointing to my thigh. <laughs> but that chain's there, just disrupting Zimbabwe a little bit and Barbados that gets the turnover. Exactly. But a big moment, though, for Madzik Kangava coming on for her 50th. Moving off, Sinta, reset. 50th test for her. Big milestone. <laughs> what a game to walk into for your 50th test. <laughs> you know. But she's got experience. Spanish breaking with So the feed with Zimbabwe. Just confirmation then of that change. Again, the pressure just too much in the hell ball. Seems her contact. Oh, good defensive work again. There's Matsik Kangava. Nice play there from Jani. I love how she uses her body just to roll around, give herself room. She was directing traffic. She controls the tempo, just making sure the pace is right. She gets the feed that she wants in that circle. Indeed. From and one end to the other, they are dictating the pace at the moment. Spanish they are. Contact, and I'm stretching on offense. Spanish contact. This is an important goal. You feel for Barbados. And into Zimbabwe and Hans. Attack. Just need a, a bit of an energy injection at the moment. Yeah. But that's the relentless pressure that Zimbabwe are putting them under. <laughs> nice from Danny. That defensive pressure not having any effect on her shot. Look at her, still on 100%, 21 goals from 21. Amazing. You'd like a few of those stats. <laughs> Ever shoot 100%? Yeah, 100% cookie. <laughs> one shot from one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a good take. That wasn't easy to do. Wing obstruction. Crony with the core. Has that changed? Worked for Barbados? Not really, I have to say. Um, the feed was all right. It's just they seem to have lost their eye under the post. That, that is true, yes. But the defensive pressure that Zimbabwe are putting on them is they aren't able to kind of change that up. So another change for Zimbabwe. 
we were asking maybe whether Barbados would change up, but it's Mbavu who heads to the bench. She was doing a lot of the work actually for Zimbabwe. You're saying make creating good space for Johnny. Yeah, four from floor, uh, four from five. Sorry on her shooting stats, but she was being a playmaker and letting Johnny control. But a great start. How about that? Coming on and scoring straight off the mark. Buenali, too, has those skills. Bernard offside! That's better. And Sharon Buenali has come on at that goal attack position. For her 20th cap. She's played a, a couple of quarters now in that goal attack position and come on so well, strong. A reminder for each of these players, it's their debut World Cup for Zimbabwe. Barbados have that experience. But they also have young goal shooter, Wharton, who stood up against some pretty big threats already in this tournament. Yeah, she has and she's not been phased by it either. New Zealand and Australia. Barbados have already played them. And that's where it's tough. They initially picked up a couple of points in Group B, but that was against Singapore when they moved on to the second stage. It meant that those were wiped out. Lovely little weight behind that ball again. Just needs a bit more service. I'm loving Ranali since she's come on. She's just... It's like, not like she doesn't care, but her, her passing, her feeds are all just so relaxed. Exactly. Yeah, and her movement too, how she got round that backspace, she timed it well. She wasn't direct, she wasn't slow, but that bit in between, just changing it up and then a quick step to come free from her defender. Oh, heavy fall. Yep. Is that Thomas that went down? Yeah, Thomas, goal attack. Okay. Back up at the edge of your shot. So approaching the end of this quarter, then two and a half minutes left. And that lead just stretching out for Zimbabwe. 17-11 first quarter. They've gone 12-7, now 13-7 up in this quarter. Made that 40. Nice offload there on, as we've seen, Brunali. Look at that strength. She was like, that ball is mine. I'm going to take it and then I'm going to score as well. Just missing that one, her first miss since coming on. So what can Barbados do? Difficult when they're faced with such great defensive work again. Good tracking from the Zimbabwean defence. Everyone just sticking on their player, forcing them into different areas where they don't want to get the ball. It's a nightclub atmosphere off court, but on it, there's plenty of body on body too, isn't there? They're, they're just sticking to them at the moment. Yeah, yeah. indeed. So Three strong on that. Inside. It's making it life really difficult for Barbados. Yeah. How do you get through that feed? All of that in front of you. Just got to hope for, for one of those calls. Yeah. Nice from Thomas there, running that baseline to split the defence, so left Wharton open. They need to do more of that, because at the moment they're just sat behind the defenders and they can play off it, and the feeders don't want to pass that in. So trick them into following you and leave her wide open. Oh, I thought that was going for an angry pass, <laughs> but instead she makes that look simple. Indeed, and that's what she does so well to create space for herself. Look at this pass. She takes it in. She fakes Here the I go. pass, no, I see don't. how the defender moves, and then she's able to put the shot up. Last 45 seconds, and again, the story of this first two quarters. Here comes Zimbabwe again. Great <laughs> defensive pressure. 
brilliant land into the circle. Oh, that one needed a goal. Needed a goal. It would have been so great, wouldn't it, if it had finished on a goal. Look at that speed from Brunali again. She's off-footing her defender, Nas Map from way up in court so that she comes into that circle free. Good splits again, Brunali. She's making things tick in that circle. What a threat they've got in that circle. Indeed. Last few seconds of the half then. 33-19 into the last 10. They'll hang on to the ball. They'll recycle it around corner. Will they go for the quick goal? Hearing the crowd chant and count down. This one from Buenali oh. again and just into the hands of Barbados. That will matter not because more often than not, in the second quarter, it's ended up in Zimbabwe hands. They've been the dominant force. They came out with that energy. They came out clinical under the post and they dominated that defensive area too. We talked about the shooting areas of both the defensive end of Zimbabwe at the moment, they've got control. 33-19, the lead for Zimbabwe. Every best Bib and Tucker back assembled and off and underway. This is always known as the tournament winning or the game winning or the match winning or the championship winning quarter. And this is what Barbados need. It did, and that was a great start from there, coming out of the blocks, getting some space. We see a change there. Holder has come on a goal attack and she just brought that energy. But the shooting combination down at the other end. Pawani and Jani still on song. Brianna Holder, just 18 years old, so she will give a little bit of a spark perhaps inside that circle, a bit more energy and what's she like nice Zimbabwe. what a way to come on after You'd that, like that shot break. on your cv wouldn't you you would indeed so maybe early but by you don't though with the 2-1 quarter time lead but that's about to become 2-2 two -two. and as all bruce coming out way too early for that Leaving Jani all on her own onto the post. Oh, another great tip. They've just been disrupting that rhythm all the way through those first couple of quarters. Yeah. Just seeing it so well. I know, and Burani there on a goal attack, going for that intercept. Love that defensive pressure. Zimbabwe. No expression from Wharton. Rear holder, the centre bib on. Contact outside. Oh, that was a little bit of contact, but enough to put them off. <gasps> nice work. Good intercept. Got high to get that tip. We know Azriel Bruce has Thank got that. Side wing attack. And now what can a side, side do? Oh. Third. They got the call. Yeah, Crony just getting a foot over the line. Zimbabwe. But in all that mess, Zimbabwe come out. I just wonder how much, you know, you see that, that great intercept up, up one end and whether you get a little bit carried away, excited. It's just about Got being there. calm in every motion. Yeah, indeed. And it's, it's good to see you've got the intercept, you give a nice offload just to get everyone settled, and then you tack down the court. But then at some stage, you need to rein it in. You can't just go bang, 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 all the way down the court. I think she thought about it. She did. She was doing the Karate Kid crane and just leaned too much. Pass perfect. And that was good, though, from Azor Bruce, just to keep that defensive pressure on so she couldn't shoot. But again, another turnover for Zimbabwe. Oh! Oh! Good backing up. Azor Bruce trying to keep her team in this game. That's two now. She's got... Goalkeeper contact. Second chance for Barbados to score off those. Azor Bruce is 99 and then an 11 and 2015. Goal it's her fourth World Cup, so she's got that experience and knows how much it means to the younger players too, Zimbabwe. improving themselves on this World Cup. <laughs> Just finding it too easy at the Try moment to, to cut their way through. Center. 
Jani is holding well in that circle. She's positioned in front, so she's available for a flat ball, but also as soon as she knows they don't want to pass her that, she's changing her angle so that that backspace feed is on. Base contact, wing attack. Better hands there. Back, With Rock, you're on at wing side. defense too. They are doing better in that mid-court area. Yeah. Good, we see here this shot. How quick were those hands from Wharton? Alongside Crony at wing attack. Love a heat map on both these circles, such as the work being done. Defense and attack. And then another off. 38. 24, 10 minutes Play of this third quarter defense. to go. Oh, how's about that for a ball? Yeah, nice into that circle. Play You'd expect the quarter to turn and shoot from there, wouldn't you? Oh, but third. she did look to turn. We've got Holder down. And she's thumping the court as well. She seems in serious pain. She's another key, key player for Barbados. Rear Holder, I'm seeing with her centre pass and the work that she was putting on. Mm. Bit of concern. Good to see her back up on her feet. And it's just in a tangle. She goes down, there was a lean one way than the other. Felt it straight away. And a, she's just looking and they're just having a turn to the bench to get some help with Holder. Obviously a distressing scene for those Barbados players and the coaches on the side and she's she's brought a real burst of energy to this team throughout the tournament as well yeah she has indeed and even just coming on now we're just seeing some changes and obviously concerned faces within the court yeah. rules being if you have an injury in your court time you have 30 seconds which you must leave the court by but if it's really serious, obviously the umpire gives a little bit of leeway as they're doing here, but it's good she's back up on her feet. She is, the, the chair's being brought on, but she is back up on her feet. She'll need some assistance to get off court. You could see that she's got a bit more movement. She just gave her thumbs up. She wants to walk off the court, doesn't want the assistance. Yeah. She's another of those players that came into this as a, a tournament debut. 27th cap for Barbados. And that'll be a concern for her and for Sandra Bruce Small and the team. Yeah. And she takes the seat, so it's pretty serious not being able to walk on out that she needs to be wheelchaired off, and that's not a good sight. Yeah, and the crowd inside the arena giving her the applause as she heads off. We'll keep an eye on how she gets on. Now the player's back on court. 38-24, and Wharton puts another up for her team. Zimbabwe. Yeah. So difficult when you've seen a teammate go down, isn't it, in, in obvious pain? Definitely, you, you feel for them, really, and especially as she's such a key member of this team. But Knight now comes on at centre to try and take up those reins. But you've got to play on. They've still got the rest of this game to play. They can't be thinking about that at the moment. When the whistle goes, then you can... Find out what, how she is. She's just left the arena to our left-hand side. Knight started with that centre bib Spanish on her center. chest for the starting seven. So very much someone who is part of the starting seven for this team. Okay, Reminder, up next for Barbados, it's Northern Ireland on Thursday. While Zimbabwe take Outside. on Malawi. And Zimbabwe looking to push to make it top eight at this tournament. Great shot, beautiful shot. The other holder, Brianna. Spanish Lovely height on that. Edging back into this one. Blocked at six goals apiece in this quarter. Spanish contact, wing defense. Nice patience there. Bernali again, oh, but can't quite sink it. All that work, she snuck around the back, hid from that defensive end. 
and then they pick up another intercept. Yeah. I am really loving this defense end of Zimbabwe. All four of them, Muladi, Kawamba, Kawenga, Karame. Such a great combination. Such a great combination. And they read and feed off each other. They set things up for each other. It's not just one oh. on one. But down the other end. That was set up. I saw Bruce though. She's a one man band at the moment. Trying to do things from behind for Barbados. And she fell quite heavily on her a foot as she landed. She's just shaking that off. Up the other end then Barbados. Goalkeeper contact. Where you are, shooter. Goalkeeper come beside. And Barbados. still we hear the Zimbabwe fans sing and their team just facing a spell of pressure at the moment from Barbados, which they needed to put on. But when they get the lead, it was 8-6. They needed that one just to keep putting that pressure on Zimbabwe. Same story, just play the, the simple stuff in that moment when you get the ball back. Exactly. Because it's so difficult when up the other end you've got the threat of Johnny. 28 from 28. Wow. Well, she's shooting at 100%. Bonali well, just dropped exactly. down into the the 60s, but she did so much work around that circle. That's it. She has been this playmaker, helping out the centre court. Can't do that with, with Miles Mapp, with Azil Bruce in there too. So intriguing, swinging one way, then the other. Good defence, but good for Morton to exit the circle, just to give another option for Barbados. But then, and I mean, that was error. <laughs> such Very fine margins, though. If that was me, I would have said it was my hairy toe. Contact I mean, there was that much of it. We're crossing the line, it's crossing the line. In my comment or in the. Game's <laughs> moving center. obstruction. Finally, drop side wing defense. Oh, great again. So good, isn't she, on that step in. Just a real calming influence, though, on, on this team, too. Indeed, yeah. Because they know when they get the ball to her, she's going to score. You see the quarter-by-quarter quarter scores there. 17-11, first one, 16-8. Eight. eight all in this third. It's tight. It's a brilliant tussle. Contact, wing attack. Oh, there was a, a dribble through the legs, a nutmeg. Who wanted the ball? Contact called. Kawamba again at wing defence, the one though to make that turnover. And they're just punishing Barbados now. Instruction mm. going keep that distance. Just don't know which way Johnny's going to turn, you do don't, you? You don't. And you don't know where she's going to offload it, but a couple of times now she's faked and she's definitely going to the post. So they need to switch on and know she's not going to pass. She's just creating space for herself. Talk about Contact. creating space. Gnarly doing Wait, that too. Step aside. Yeah. Contact. And she'll take those every day of the week. Yeah. The Barbados sold this with the seven they've got on court now. I think they need to bring on, they've got the potential of Blackman on the bench with the experience, fifth World Cup. Can she come on and add some kind of composure into the team? But at the moment, the seven aren't doing it for them. Watching, you just see Blackman on the bench behind and she's got her T-shirt on at the moment. She is the sort of presence they need on court. I wonder whether, whether we're just not going to see her. Oh, she read that so well. Just a call. Contact. Yeah. She's a little bit too late on that. As you see her here, she exits circle so early Contact. but missed the ball completely. The so difficult that initial burst of pace to able to control it as well. Yeah. Still having a go though. Good from Bawani. But Azul Bruce needs to look at that because she is getting joy in that circle. She is, and she's coming up. That's why I was saying earlier, she's almost that like one-man band in that goal circle, trying to get intercepts for the Bayesian team. But others around her need to help her out a little bit. It's coming down the court so quickly that it's really difficult for them to set anything up. 
break wing attack. Bandage obstruction. Bandage obstruction, wing defence and upside. Ooh, that was a long hold. It was indeed. And I don't think she picked the right person to pass to. Now another opportunity. Made contact goal attack. Look to build again for Barbados. Contact keeper. Keeper takes off, step forward. Step forward. Hold her with it. Little step in. Lovely shot. Yeah. Lovely. So every time in this quarter, at least, Zimbabwe trying to sneak ahead. So this. Hold tight. That is deliberate obstruction to that and delay. Bring it in here. It's a caution. Thought he wasn't going to give a caution then. He was building up to it. <laughs> caution given then. Their destruction. So Barbados go ahead on the quarter score, and they would have targeted that going into this third quarter. Yeah. Definitely. They wouldn't want to finish off as they did yes. going into the halftime break. So it's better performance from them. Contact. Johnny again. She looks like she's almost passing it to herself, doesn't she? The, the movement in there, the distance she gets across. 100%, 32 contact from 32. Defense. It's not just the accuracy, but it's the volume of shots that wing she's putting contact. up, which is so great. Yeah, anyone could get 100% one from one, but... <laughs> yeah, my very first international attack. cap before I did my ACL, one from one, but was it's it? 100%, I'm taking it. How long was on court for that? About six minutes. Oh, Tamala Cookie. Oh, no. But what a six minutes. Yes, and it set me up for the rest of my career. She, she's both, both now in that defensive end. They're just trying to wrestle their time Contact. and their team forward. Yeah, good hands, but colliding with her teammate as yeah. well as Karamba at wing defense. Nas Map, that's what they need. They need her to lift her game a little bit. Make it difficult for the Zimbabwe team to penetrate down. Make, them, it, it, make it uncomfortable for them. Just sometimes when there's a bit of a lull, you need couple of players to step up, go for the intercepts, Bandage create that defensive defense. wall, put off the attackers. But when you've got Contest. moments like that, the ball. you can position. rattle that attacking end. Yes. Because then it puts doubt, especially as the shooters get a ball under the post. They've given away a contact, so it allows you to have a breather, settle yourself and then shoot. Whereas if the pressure's keeping on, it's on, and you're staying, keeping yourself in the game. Look at this take there from Bernali. Brilliant Bandage agility. Into the last minute of this third quarter, a much better quarter from Barbados. But again, they find themselves behind on the quarter score and behind on the scoreboard in the center of the arena here in Liverpool. Much better quarter from them, but still Zimbabwe and their defensive work edges them ahead. Indeed. Wharton helps them though, just to pull that one back. So within touching distance, Barbados, will this ultimately prove too big a leap as we head into the final quarter? Buenali has done so much work, just the contact call, frustration perhaps from that defensive end for Barbados, and frustration has been the key to this quarter as it was the two before. Barbados looking like they were coming so back into it, looking like they could take on this Zimbabwe side and make it difficult for them, but just also not having enough of both ends to take this into the final quarter. 48-32. Yeah. With the centre pass then to get us off and underway. Good land, a couple of changes for them. There's Crony at that wing attack position, we saw her come on earlier. And she helped with a bit of pace through that mid-court for Barbados. But again, defensively, just Zimbabwe. All Brilliant. over it, all over them, Bandage and they're setting it up really well. They're forcing Barbados to make those mistakes and run into positions that they don't want to be in. Contact wing defense. Contact, hitting the ball, got 
guess who? <laughs> she finishes off. <laughs> she starts, sorry, where she finished off. Johnny. Movement again, though. And here's just this complete court performance from Zimbabwe. They've got Malawi coming up on Thursday. 12.30 UK time. Big, big one for them. And you can just see what it means. All the arms over, just trying to create that little bit of distraction. And that was just me. It's you. I see what you're trying to do, visually and verbally. Get it to Wharton and she'll give you a goal. She will indeed. Getting a little bit messy inside that circle. Yep, Harume hitting the deck there after that obstruction call. Great defensive work. Finally, we see from Barbados. Rock your <laughs> world, I think is what you wanted to say. Uh -huh. From the edge of the circle. Perfect. Still in this one. Barbados still believe that they can make this awkward for Zimbabwe in these final 12 and a half minutes. And that'll help. And they take the ball with them. Again, Azor Bruce there on that intercept. Rock, you're at the heart of it. Destruction goal attack. Center third. Balance of pass the ball center. tonight. A little bounce in this time. They're making sure that those balls stay in Barbados' hands. Oh, she was free on the run through. The Great drive through. Just inside. Just missed there. Wing defense, you're out of play. Wing defense, These you're out of play. These contact calls are starting to ramp up now, aren't they? As the game goes on. Oh! <laughs> Check out those hands! Kawanga, goal defense, Zimbabwe. With that sleight of hand, she could do a card trick, couldn't she? She was just <laughs> measuring it up. Then the call against them. A bit of fortune up. for Barbados. After that, Zimbabwe sleight of hand. Now they come again. Oh. If just seeing the defensive work was perfect, and Wharton was celebrating that as she let the ball go, as well she might. <laughs> she was like nothing but net. Contact centre. So they've got a two-goal lead in this quarter. Offside wing defence. Oh, that was unlucky there. She definitely got a little push in the back as Moladi run through. Fortune again then. The instruction centre. Sayed Chitema back on for Zimbabwe in that wing attack position. Just a real player that the rest of this team looks to again. Yeah. And as we Main see there, that footwork that defense. she has to offload the defender and create that backspace for Zimbabwe. herself and great feed into Jani. Simple but effective. But they needed it with their Gold centre defense, pass contact. too. They can put Center a couple third. of goals on. Where you are. Contact wing defence. On the circle. Wing defence, step forward. Okay, it was fairly clean for the first three quarters, but you can just see how much... This final quarter means to both these teams. Yeah, indeed, it has ramped up a lot, the body-on-body -body pressure. Barbados. Who stands up to that pressure then? 52-36, final 10 minutes of this one. You would think the score too much for Barbados, but a couple of quick transitions, some intercepts, and it will set them up. Contact, super. But can't keep hold of the ball, a fumble there from Barbados. Knight just attack. couldn't keep that in her grasp. Hold time. Position wing attack. Centre injury. So an injury called. Wing attack in the centre circle. Wing attack. Just trying to see wing how she... Well, Addy heads off seven. court. Limping a little bit. So something must have happened to her ankle. 
big game coming up for them against Malawi as well. If they can Danger see this one out, they want to protect some of those that have been real standout players for them. Again, which way is she going? Left or right? Who cares? A step. Zimbabwe. Wherever she goes, she's still got the same end result. Indeed, but she's always going to goal, though. They should know this now. So they should be reading this. They should be seeking that out. Contact keeper. Perfect. Barbados. Haven't quite worked it out yet. Confirmation of that change then. Matic Pangava coming on. Her 50th test. We saw her on a little bit earlier. So you can see the experience that she brought to that side. Yeah, she did. Had a look over. Oh! This time. <laughs> Not quite, no. Just off court there, but Drawing she's still on it. Way. And again, Azoro Bruce, she seems to be the one that's really trying to drive this defensive end for the Bayesian team. She's had a brilliant tournament again for Barbados. In front. Barbados. Sorry. But Sorry. the shooting no, no. prowess continues for Sorry, Zimbabwe. Looks like Jenny's got repetitive strain then. She was. That many times she's put a shot up. Step. 42 out of 43, 98%. Danny's on fire. Come Barbados again. Contact, wing attack. Just don't seem to have enough options on. Night again, every time it's a real struggle to try and get it Thank through. Yeah, Zimbabwe just going for everything, but I have loved Poramba today in that wing defence position. She has hassled and she has helped out her two back defence in terms of setting things up for them to come out on the intercepts, but she's got a lot herself too. Contact. Contact centre advantage offside. Hold on. Top of the circle. The Zimbabwe fans have become the soundtrack to this tournament and still singing and dancing off to the far corner even with Wharton doing as she's done time and time again even that won't dampen their spirits no 24 from 25 for Wharton oh and another one she can't quite pull that one in just a little bit too much but that's where the difference really in Zimbabwe have read that they've been able to change up what they were doing in their defensive end indeed they've been the smarter of the two teams in this game they've adapted well they pushed on when they knew what they were doing was working and having success success but when it needed to change they weren't afraid to change and they changed and have created opportunities for the likes of Jan to be under the post and to be able to score the amount and the percentage that she's doing Contact center. 43 from 44 now, 98%. The problem is every time that they have managed to get just a fingertip on it, they haven't been able to hang on to that ball and take it away from goal. Yeah. Zimbabwe with Vani have still been able to score that goal. How tight this one was in the early stages of every quarter. And then they just put their foot down at Zimbabwe. Center. Now 20 goals clear as we head into the last five and a half minutes. Again, the pirouette, the beauty Zimbabwe. of Jani and her footwork and what she's providing in that circle. So many options. All this with, without us seeing Joyce Takeda, who was top of the yeah. uh, top of the scoring charts, wasn't oh, she? Yeah. They've got so many options, as you just said, on that bench in that shooting end, and they've used them well. <laughs> Zimbabweans loving this game, as they should be. The Zim Gems have their own hashtag. It's just been joy throughout this tournament. If you have a read through that on social media, every one of them trending in their own right, I think. Oh, a double tumble, two players off court. 
that's a, a bit of a concern for this Barbados team. Both players in a coming together. The umpire just asking for the time and just calling the time too. It just again, it was the effort to try and get to the ball when they both had that coming together. Just that, that trying to force it just as they go over the back. Yeah, just taking each other out. And just, again, that cautious approach, just to check that she's OK at the sidelines. I mean, we see each of these players just going full pelt on court. It just takes a little change in footing or speed. And just seeing that coming together, both going for the, the same ball. Yeah. Just and not having that peripheral vision to see everything around them. And we've seen Azure Bruce time and time again in this, this match, trying to lead her team forward. Good to see her getting back up. Clearly winded and clearly hurt. And rightly so, that the crowd claps her off. She has been one of the stars of the Bayesian teams in terms of trying to keep them in this game. Those players so key, she's having some ice on her shoulder Outside. over on the bench. Next to the centre, next to the centre. Just under four and a half minutes for her team to ride this one out. Advantage offside centre. Wharton again. Okay. And she's unshakable, isn't she, Wharton? No matter sort of the pressure she's been put under, just keeps it ticking over Thanks for her to side. Not going to be enough, though, in this one. Still getting some opportunities, but they're doing so well in, in playing them out of that circle. Yeah, and Zimbabwe in that attacking end are just having a field day. Look at how much space okay. Bawani has under that post. No one marking her. Again, I keep saying it, it's the work that they do off the ball. Manage That's what people watching this need to realise. When you're playing your games, it's not just about when your partner lands and then you get free. Do the work off the ball and then it makes it a lot easier. Confirmation of Shante Seal into that goalkeeper position after the injury to Azure Bruce. I've seen Seal throughout those defensive positions. Another of their young players coming through. Main contact center. And there she did well circle. in keeping Johnny towards the top of the circle. Giving her a cuddle as well. <laughs> Umpire saw that too. Johnny yeah. just shakes it off. Yeah, just drawing that contact. She just looks like it's effortless today. She's had a good, good day in the office. Advantage obstruction centre. Good from Water. Now that's where we see her on the move. I don't think we've seen her have a bad day at the office at this tournament. <laughs> yeah, that is very true. So just that, that shoulder for Azure Bruce. Getting some ice on it at the moment. Yep, they'll need her in this next phase of matches, so they'll want her to recover quickly. Northern the Ireland on Thursday morning for Barbados. Barbados. But the options are plenty for Zimbabwe as they prepare to take on <laughs> Malawi. And what they've done so well, Zimbabwe, clearly winning every quarter, but every moment that it's looked like Barbados have come back at them, they've just done enough to make sure that that leads them. Yeah, that's really, really impressed with them in that sense. They've absorbed that pressure, and then they've just put their foot on the gas to push themselves forward. Contact on the arm, goalkeeper. And it's as the quarter's grown. They've, the start has been really tight, goal for goal, goal for goal, but then as they go into that latter part, of the quarters, they've really pushed forward. And Danny continues that amazing shooting. 50 from 51. So difficult when, again, you just see the, the work being done defensively to pick out, actually work from all these players on court, who would, who would stand up for Jani, clearly. Yeah. It's just her ability to make those moments count. 
that's helped her side to the win. Definitely, I'd, I'd give it to her if I was to give a player of the match. But I also like Kwamba, as I've been saying, her wing defence. I think all over this court, the Zimbabwe team have worked together as a team. Content, advantage offside. And they keep putting that pressure on right and to the end. And this time from Wharton, that pressure tells. Zimbabwe come away with the ball. They've been transitioning well from back to front. And Jani with a little step in. <laughs> oh, and that one, she was on the lead. We were right behind that. The bench no now. That's just the gloss being put on this game. Right behind that shot, she was on the lean, but still it goes through. Great call there to just hold herself. As you said, she was on the lean, but she still made the shot sweet. Going. But can't do it that time. Oh, she wanted another. Oh, the last few seconds, ultimately, it Main won't matter all at all. Many up. leaders on court then for Zimbabwe. Sia Chetima said, running into this one, we just want to deliver performances that leave lasting memories for the crowd inside the arena here in Liverpool. Johnny's created memories. They've created memories from front to back and they head into that Malawi game with a real belief that they can crack and break that top eight. It's Malawi next up then for Zimbabwe. The fans for the moment enjoying this moment. They know they'll create a contest there. The joy of the gems rolls on though. Sparkling form in this tournament. Sixty six, forty one, Pamela Cookie, and we thought this would be the tightest one of the day, this Tuesday, this day five. But Zimbabwe just wanted to show the muscle that they've got. Indeed, they took this to another level. As you said, we thought it was really tight, but how good were they? We see them doing the floss in the background. That's how happy they are after this game finished. They were serious, they were composed. As a squad, they really just did the hard graft. They worked hard and then you had the superstar Jani in the shooting end. She was on fire and just lovely to watch. If you can go through all of that and still pull off the perfect floss at the end, <laughs> then you got quality, right? Yeah, they've still got fitness to burn. They would have enjoyed themselves today and they should be really proud of that performance. As I said, every one of them stepped out on the court and did the job they need. Even when they made changes, they had impact and that's what you need in a team. We say the mark of an international quality team is being able to use your bench. They got the dancing skills, they got the singing skills when it comes to their almighty choir inside the arena. And on court, on the bench, they've got enough to take them further. Impressive again then from Zimbabwe. Which player has got player of the match? Gail. Thanks very much. Well, the lady in front of me has a huge smile on her face. You've just got off court after finishing with a lovely dance. How proud are you of what you've just done, you and your team? Oh, I'm so proud of my team. They played very well, even though we started low, but we managed to come back in the match. Are you sure there was just the one of you out there? Because you seem to be all over the place. Come again. Are you sure there was just you out there? Because every time we looked up, you were taking control of this game. Yeah, I think I'm very good because I'm actually nicknamed Simone because of my interceptions. <laughs> we like it, we like it. How much has being here at a World Cup, having this atmosphere, having this crowd help lift your performance as a group? Uh, actually, I was waiting for this moment. So being here, I just want to showcase myself, play for my team, make everyone proud. <laughs> Next up, Malawi. Can you get them? Yes. I have confidence we can get them. Very, very well played today. Congratulations. Enjoy your rest day. Thank you. Thank you very much. Lloyd, come and come over here. Well, what a start for a start. And you never really looked like you were going to lose that, did you? No, I knew we were going to win this. It was it was ours for it was ours to lose. How can you be so full of confidence? I know what my players are capable of doing, so I was uh, so confident that we were going to win. How much is it about their talent and how much is it about putting themselves, as your goal defence said, on the big stage? Yes, uh, I, I can say that we are raising our game and we are going to be one of the big guns in a few years to come. And Malawi next for you beat them and you can avoid Jamaica and then what? It could be, what, fifth, sixth place finish at this World Cup? That's what we are gunning for. We want uh, fourth, I mean, uh, fifth, sixth, seventh, somewhere there. 
That's what, that's our goal now. Now that we've beaten them, uh, we can we now know that everyone is beatable. This is net with sport. Anything can happen, especially when a World Cup. Thank you very much, especially with those fans behind you. Well played, Lloyd. Thank you. We'll see you on Thursday. Sandra, come and join us. We saw a shot of you at halftime and you looked so frustrated in your team. Just didn't quite happen for you today, did it? No, we started well, but then we followed. I thought that we were very indisciplined and turned over too many balls. How is your, how is Weir Holder? Because it looked like she'd had nasty, a nasty fall there. She was obviously taken off. Is she okay? Yeah, she's okay. She went out to the medical center and she's back on the bench as we speak. And your two other players that clashed just before the end, are they okay? and the two other players that clashed with each other just before the end, are they okay? I'm not quite sure. The goalkeeper have to be checked out. The wing defense is okay. We luckily have a day off, don't you? But then I'm imagining you want to go and you want to go hard at Northern Ireland so you can end this World Cup on a high, don't you? Yes, we want to um, finish on a high, but we have to give the girls some rest. We are carrying some injuries and we really have to take care of them. What more could they have done today, do you feel? Play smarter, keep possession of the ball and work it to the shooter because the, our goal shooter shot very well, but she was starved for the ball. Oh, well, very unlucky today. Enjoy your day off and we'll see you against Northern Ireland on Thursday.